Hello YouTube, my name is Thomas. Today I'm going to talk about the Carry Audio AIOS. AIOS? Don't know how to pronounce it. It's uh, one of the coolest gadgets that I've ever owned. Coolest integrated amp that I've ever owned. Look at all the stuff it can do. Right? It can play... Uh, it has a built-in DAC, so it can decode um, DSD, DXD, MQA, and not just simple decoding when it comes to MQA. Apparently, this company worked with the company who developed MQA, so it apparently it can de develop MQA, decode MQA to the max. Uh, I never got a chance to try it uh, because I don't have a title account. Because you can also connect to Spotify account, title account. Um, but I've experienced MQA before on a very high end system, probably around 100p that system. And I can see MQA and CD, uh, it is, I couldn't tell the difference. Uh, my buddies next to me say that MQA sounds better for me. This is, uh, I couldn't tell the difference. Uh, another thing that this uh, integrated arm can do, you can read from the network. You can connect your phone to it, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, like a cable to it, connect to your network's hard drive. That's, what actually, that's actually what I do. Um, Oh, the DSD part. When, when you play songs on, on it, see this remote? Or you can use uh, your cell phone. Unfortunately, I'm using it to record, so I can't show you. You can just press one button here and say, I like click. You convert your 44K CD music to 192, click, 384, click, DSD 256, and up, right? So this is one of the most uh, easy, setup that I've come across when it comes uh, when when it when we're talking about up, up converting um, songs a sample rate um, what else does it have uh, it has uh, a subwoofer output now the reason why you might need this is because this thing is uh, 75 watts class AB this is not class D they actually put a lot of thought I guess uh, into making sure that you, that you can get the best sound Right. Anybody who's buying a, a system like this, must be, you know, I'm pretty sure they care about the, the quality, the sound quality, right? So they went the class A, B route, and yes, you can hear that uh, it's different than class D. So uh, kudos to them. Uh, it doesn't get hot. It has that big round toroid thing in it. Um, at 4 ohms, it'll produce 125 watts. But you know, not all speakers can, uh, not all speakers will give you a lot of bass when you only have 75 watts, right? For example, my dining audio here, yeah, you need 300 watts. So that's why there's also a, a subwoofer out, as I said. And um, you can supplement it, you, know, your, you can solve your bass problem with a subwoofer. Uh, another thing you can do is that it, you can use it as a, um, a preamp. So um, if you don't want to use a subwoofer and you want a bit more juice so you get uh, a bit more bass, no problem. Just connect it to a power amp and uh, use it that way. So uh, they, they definitely uh, really they definitely thought about everything with this. It has coaxial input, optical input, you can plug a CD-ROM to it. Um, what else? Bluetooth input. So... Um, Definitely a very interesting uh, piece of uh, equipment. Oh, it has a uh, built-in equalizer too. With the cell phone, you can change, uh, you can play with the equalizer. So uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. And the cell phone app is uh, is okay. Um, it doesn't crash on me at all, I guess. And uh, I wish it was a bit more uh, easy to navigate. But overall, it's very usable. So um, definitely, I, I find I would say that this is uh, an uh, integrated amp that's worth you looking at if you want to use it in, let's say, uh, a second bedroom. Uh, if you're somebody like me who has a, a decent uh, system, uh, the whole setup probably is about fifteen to twenty thousand, right? Uh, I'm talking about my preamps and my amps and so forth. Then you know, you, you have a certain expectations uh, when it comes to music and you, you don't want garbage. So this is something that, uh, that can work for you. Um, it cannot be, I don't think it can be part of my main system. 
uh, simply because I'm spoiled with uh, very high-end gear, right? Um, but having said that, if you're somebody who's looking at, at uh, a system like a Sim Audio Integrated Amp i5, uh, then yeah, you're looking at that kind of performance here. Uh, definitely not an entry level performance. Uh, it's uh, entry level quote unquote audiophile uh, performance, um, but it is not audiophile level of performance. Yes, you'll still hear a lot of details with it. Uh, the sound stage and imaging part, they're all there. Um, that's you, you, you'll find in the newer gears. Like, there's a there's an emphasis on it, right? So it's not as musical as let's say my Accuface. It's not the same. Uh, in fact, I'll probably play a clip on my Dying Audio. I also did uh, another video on my Dying Audio with the Accuface, and uh, you can compare both, right? I'll have the subwoofer going, and uh, you can see maybe you prefer the Accuface, maybe you prefer the Carry Audio. So just take a look at my other video, and uh, you compare. <clears throat> played a clip twice. The first time I include a subwoofer and the second time without the subwoofer. Uh, I'm using a cell phone to record it so you might not hear it clearly. Uh, from my side I can tell that it is definitely the clar there's more clarity when comparing to the Accuface but that's expected. It's that kind of sound right? The new type of sound uh, as opposed to the more musical sound uh, like my Accuface. Um, so in short, uh, definitely uh, something to, to be on your radar if you're looking for it for a system for your second room. Uh, assume that you have already high in gear on the first room. Or if you're somebody who just want a very good sounding system uh, that has everything. Because you know you want to make sure your house is not like a mess like mine here with all the cables, right? Uh, or you're just stepping into the audiophile world and you have limited budget but you want you know you want a bit of everything right you want to be able to play mqa you want to access your spotify account your title account uh, you don't want to go buy a dac a preamp and an amp it's just too much work for you um, this is something that probably might interest you um, they don't come on the, the market use because it's a very new system a uh, very new product uh, in fact, uh, I read about it probably at the beginning of this year and I was just waiting for it to show up uh, on the used market. And I got lucky that I, I came across one. Uh, it definitely uh, satisfied my curiosity. You know, as to, you know, because Carry, the company itself, makes really good gear. So you know that when they, when they build something like this, they're not going to sacrifice uh, uh, sound quality. But of course, once again, keep your expectations in check. This is still an all-in-one integrated system, but uh, you know they're, they're, they're putting the name behind it, so there's a certain level of uh, uh, performance here. Definitely uh, pretty okay. Uh, the, 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 the 75 watt issue I mentioned, you can either solve it by uh, putting a separate amp or a subwoofer, right? But having said that, I mean, if your, your speakers are not crazy like mine, 84 dB, 
anything with a 90 dB, 91 dB, yeah, you'll, you'll be fine, 75 watts. I mean, most of the people out there have about 75 watts to 125 watts amps anyway. So they, they build it just enough for that, right? Uh, and they prepare in case you want a bit more too. So uh, with that, I'll wrap it up. Uh, if I, I can't really talk about soundstage and all the stuff like that with this because it really depends on your speaker. But what I can say is that this falls in the category of the new type of sound where you can start analyzing you know, the song. Oh, here's the, the, you know, the, the little detail over there. That's where the guy is standing and so forth. Um, I personally don't consider this a, a musical amp, more of an audiophile amp. So with this, I'll uh, conclude my, uh, my impressions, my review. Thank you. See you next time.